Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to answer the common question about rubber. What is throw angle? Some time ago I saw a friend's new rubber. He was trying it and was really satisfied with its game. It was much cheaper than the other rubbers with the same speed. I also wanted to try it. It was a cheap Chinese Tenza Pelo AK47 Red. But I'm not going to review this rubber now. Playlist of the videos with it you can see below. I put it forehand, started playing and every time ball flew in the net. I was quite puzzled and disappointed with it. The rubber seemed good, my friend played with it well and for me it was bad. The ball flew into the net, into the net and into the net. It was the first time I ran into throw angle term. You may think the rubber is bad. But the point is, the rubbers, like any objects, differ. And their characteristics differ as well, including throw angle. Imagine you play drives and loops and hit the table very often. The balls is a bit higher than the net. Then you try another rubber with the same speed and play the same moves. The balls fly a bit higher and overfly comparing to the previous rubber. Then you try the third one and do the same, with the same technique. This time the balls fly into the net. Even more often than with two previous rubbers. Three different rubbers, the same moves, the same technique, but the ball flies differently. One is too low and another is too high. It's throw angle with different rubbers. When you play the same move, but one rubber pushes the ball higher and the other lower. Low or high throw angle with the rubber is neither good nor bad. In my case, I just get used to play the rubber with high throw angle. So when I tried to play the rubber with low throw angle, the ball flew into the net. At that time, I knew nothing about throw angle. But that's how it looks like in the game. The ball flew lower than I expected. I was very puzzled with it. This problem can be solved by changing the technique. It's not the easiest way, of course. It may be difficult for someone. With some TT players it takes some time to change it. Or you may give such rubber up and try another rubber that suits your technique. That doesn't require changing the technique. In general, Rubber may differ in throw angle, not to mention many other differences in characteristics. Sometimes differences are not critical, so players might not even notice them, or they don't affect their game, or they quickly adjust to them. In general, throw angle depends on stickiness and softness. If you choose a rubber like yours, but harder, more probably the ball will fly lower than you got used to. But throw angle may also depend on other factors, so you can name any linear dependency for sure. I can't at least. If you know any, let us know in the comments below. It's interesting for everybody. I hope I managed to explain it in simple words. If you have something to add, let us know below. If you don't understand why you need this term, it's okay. Not everyone pay attention to it. To many it doesn't matter, it doesn't bother at a lot of players, but some do pay attention and you can see it in their views. So it's one of the many rubbers characteristics. By the way, there are thematic playlists on our channel and there are more similar videos in the theory of table tennis playlist. The link is below. You may find other interesting and useful videos there. Buying in our shop is always a good way to thank us for our videos, if you like them or find them useful. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Subscribe and hit the notification bell not to miss new videos. At last I want to remind that we make videos to help you save time and money, so you can learn more about rubbers and blades you're interested in and see what can suit you best or prevent you from buying unsuitable equipment. In the TT Maximum shop, 
There are a lot of filters and characteristics to help you learn more. So visit our site or contact us if you need help with choosing. We'll gladly help you choose the right equipment.